What's up, everybody? So uh, you saw us at Petro Hedonism live for the second year, and I was rolling around there. I saw some really cool rides, but one that really got my attention was a Triumph Bonneville Bobber, and it was done up by a company over there called Thornton 100. And uh, I got a hold of them after looking at the bike, and uh, I said, guys, I really like this. You know, what would it take to get one over to the States? And they said, well, first you gotta buy a bike. So boom, I'm a European cycle and I'm fixing to uh, buy myself a bike. And uh, they are gonna make all the parts over there, all the custom stuff. Uh, they're gonna come over, hang out with us. We're gonna drink a few beers and we're gonna build this thing out in maybe one solid day. But it's just got a cool look. It's kind of a dirt bobber, aggressive, urban street fighter crazy thing and uh, it just caught my attention I thought it was cool I thought the parts that uh, Thornton 100 build uh, at their shop over there uh, on the other side of the pond are really quality good-looking stuff and they've already uh, invented the wheel so there's no reason for me to reinvent it we're just gonna have a little fun and uh, throw it together right now I'm picking up a brand new 2023 uh, bobber uh, triumph and uh, I'm gonna ride this anemic looking little thing home and uh, then, as soon as the guys come over from London and uh, from Thornton, we're gonna turn this thing to a badass freaking tire shredder. See if I can ride a motor. It's one down and four up, right? Yeah, five. Okay. But we'll, uh, five up. Five Holy up. cow! Technology, man, crazy. All right, let's get it. Y'all following me? Yes, Try sir. To keep up. What's up, everybody? So uh, a while back, I went to uh, Petro Hedonism for the second time. It was awesome. And uh, these guys, uh, Jody and his team, were displaying uh, a Triumph that just caught my eye. I loved it. Uh, I just had a bitchin' look and what have you. Uh, I couldn't find him while at the show. I was asking everybody, like, whose Triumph is that? <laughs> and uh, turns out he's got a little company over there called Thornton 100. What does Thornton 100 mean? What does it mean? Thornton 100 kind of is, actually, it kind of stems from the classic kind of cafe races of the like 50s and 60s in the UK as well so and I also started the company in a small village called Thornton right in Buckinghamshire as well so proper quaint little British kind of village sort of thing and you know kind of stands out you know it's a little bit different so yeah it's a uh, kind all of right. sticks in your head a little bit all right so I came back from Petra Hedonism uh, I got a hold of Jody and uh, they were super stoked that I wanted to get one and I wanted to build it uh, and so I'm ordering all the parts I'm getting everything done right and he goes screw it I'm coming over there I'm going to build it with you and I was like Turtle dog dare you, come on. So uh, they're here today. Uh, we're gonna do this bike in the next uh, five or six hours, I guess. That's it, we've already prepared everything. We've done all the hard work, all the wiring, everything's pressed in, all the paint's done, so we're ready to go. Hey, you don't understand how we do things in Texas. Let me get in the toolbox. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, Thank that's tool much. number one. That's it. There you go. Cheers, my man. Cheers, man. Woo! Here we go. Thornton 100 Tron. Boom. Gas Monkey giveaway number five is live. 25 grand, a 2023 Hellcat jailbreak that you cannot get because this is my allocation and I'm giving it to you. GasMonkeyGarage.com. Get you some of that and get you some Hellcat. Right. Let's have a little look at what, what we got I in the boxes. I did look at this stuff on purpose. So we got some wheels. Okay. Front, rear. Ugh. I didn't look at it because I wanted to be surprised. We did all the custom. What? That's it. In. That is freaking sick. Four hundred gas monkey. So I forgot to tell you that uh, I pulled my very best, oldest, and uh, cheapest mechanic to work with the, <laughs> us on this project. That's it. So yeah. uh, Senior Phipps there. Yeah, I open the box for you. Yeah. Other, <laughs> otherwise known as Phipps Star is going to be helping us out. Check out this wheel. It says Gas Monkey on gas it. Gas Monkey. Four hundred. What? Partnership. Sick, Get man. you some of that. <laughs> some knobbies. That's what I like to look. The old knobbies yeah, and stuff. Yeah, man. Woo! Look at that packaging. Man, y'all pack the hell out of this stuff. <laughs> Boom, love it. Gold nipples, custom hubs. We make all these hubs 
We make them custom rims, spokes, and then we've got the custom so you gas machine monkey. these out? This is all machine out of billet, lump of billet, aluminium, so yeah. Al, al what? Billet aluminium, aluminium. Aluminium, oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what, what you were saying. Aluminium. Right, right, I, need some, some I, need a, I need a screwdriver or something just to bust this open. Phipps, let's do it, here. man. I think we smashed it. So we've got the side panels here, custom painted, and then we've got the dog tag here, Thornton 100, Gas Monkey Garage. Absolutely love that. So, Sorry, man. So panel. Okay, so this is our colors we talked That's about. That's it, yeah. Does it look like the pillow? Hey, Phipps, uh, run it to my couch in my office and get the Mr. T pillow. Because I had some really, really good inspiration. I was sitting at my desk and I was trying to describe to him the color scheme that I wanted and what I kind of wanted it to look like. And I had this burst of information. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Triumph, Mr. T, T's for Triumph. Told him to hit those colors. Look at that, how dope. Smashed it. I pity the fool <laughs> that ain't got a bike like this. I pity him. What? All right, Mr. T's gonna just hang out with That's us That's it, man. Here. He's gonna watch us build this bike. Yeah, that looks He's ready to rock. Sweet, man. So that, that was my inspiration for colors. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. All painted. Because those are uh, those are like the aluminum color, uh, aluminium. Aluminium. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> bigger? Huh? No, same size, just black. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna be so rad. I am stoked. This is your engine guard with your PLS. Oh yeah, that was my idea yeah, there. Yeah, man. That's freaking so, sick. I come up with a good idea every once in a while. When. I'm just hanging out with my Mr. T pillow. Look at these handlebars. Are these blinky blinks on the end. Are these blinkers? That's it, yeah. Freaking cool. Pier lights. We're pretty wide, everything, so we can just So your company's it. pretty freaking big. Uh, no, I started six years ago. I started 400 six years ago in a shipping container with a two and a half thousand pound credit card. And uh, here we are. Well, yeah. that's freaking that's rad, it. man. <laughs> I actually started uh, Gas Monkey uh, in 2003 or four, I think it was 2004 is when I incorporated, but I started yeah. when I was uh, in 2003, and my wife gave me a $2,500 Home Depot gift card yeah. to buy the first set of tools. Oh, that's fucking sick. For man. Christmas. Yeah. That was my Christmas gift. That's Look at yours. That. <laughs> that is sick, bro. What? <laughs> That's gonna be rad. Right, so the kit's all out. Richard, what do you think? This is unbelievable. I mean, you guys nailed it. It's very hard to work, you know, overseas and, and get my vision out of my head and, and into your shop. And you guys packed it all up, it's here. This is wicked. Yeah, man, so we're gonna get all this stuff off that bike, it will standard stuff off, and then we're gonna start loading that bike up with all this custom Thornton 100 Gas Monkey kit, and then hopefully get ready by the end of the day, ready to do some burnouts on. I love burnouts. Let's do it. Okay, this is pretty cool for me because it's been a while since I've got to do anything with a motorcycle. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take this service. This one is coming out. No, no, we're going to take the, the, the mud guard out. So oh. uh, T30. You mean the bender? Yeah. Okay. Reminds me when I worked for my dad. Thought I went nuts with the flashlight. I got fired. We're going to take those throttle bodies out because they're silver. We've already prepared the black ones, so we're going to do a little swap now. And we're going to put all the air boxes back in and swap the, swap the spring out. Put the back wheel in, change the chain out, and then gas get it on for the back end being fixed. So then we'll spin it round and we'll start work on the front end. Hey, they've been doing these rubber dampeners on these things for uh, minutes, long, 70s, 60s maybe. We're gonna need the bolt, so I'm nearly done here. Okay. Um, so well, like, uh, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. no worries. I'm gonna go take a shift. Use the loo. Because that's, okay, so we call it a John, but his cousin Lou was in England and they started this company together. Yeah, fucking history lesson, man. <laughs> Shit, you learn something every day. Oh, this one's, it's a K-Tech shop. So I have better damping rates, better spring ratios. 
and it looks nice as well. So, so when Richard said he wanted the Mr. T inspired kind of pillow bike, what's Mr. T without gold chain? So we're gonna swap this standard factory one out for some bling. So what we're gonna do is tie this one on, like this. Get that. Nice and tight. Right. I would have done it way wrong <laughs> See, it's poking out nice and then what we do So this is the part that goes on the rear axle and this holds on all the license plate holder and the stuff at the back here as well So yeah, we're gonna get all this on and then we'll get the back wheel in there It's time to put some really visually appealing parts on this bike <laughs> Gold chain. Love it. Yeah, so we're like doing the back, we're gonna work our way all the way forward, get that wide front end in. So we're halfway there, nearly halfway there anyway. I know, look at all the tools we got out. I know. <laughs> I see one big tool. <laughs> <laughs> well I just turned keep my mouth shut. Dude, that thing is so rad. It's really looking good. Yeah, yeah it is, got it. Got it. Shocking, got the black flat prop bodies in. That sort of stuff, so. so I started Thornton 100 Motorcycles when I turned 20. I left my job as an apprentice mechanical engineer and I started the company in a shipping container with a credit card and a bank loan. And we've grown a lot in the last few years and it's absolutely started to take off. We're starting to invade the US and actually China as well in Beijing with similar workshop kind of setups to what we have here at Gas Monkey and Thornton 100 in the UK. So we do all the engineering in the UK, do all the design and the build and we ship the parts out of here and assemble them onto the bikes. Yeah, man, that looks sick. Look at that coming together. It's good because you guys can see it and I'm just like, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. It's just when you step back, you look at it and finish for the first time. Wow. Yeah. Love that. Right. So the end goal for Thornton 100 is to end up kind of similar to what Rich has done here at Gas Monkey as well. A worldwide brand with the apparel, with the bikes, with the components as well as working closely with the Triumph factory and the manufacturer to build really cool custom motorcycles for everyone to be accessible to as well. So honestly, so much going on at Thornton 100 right now. So make sure you follow our socials and keep up. Right, Phipps, if you could grab that Gorilla Pro get this locked in here. So this side I'm going to need a few hands uh, to swap the bars out because we're going to swap these bars out to our bars which are already like pre-drilled they've got everything on so there's a few bits here we're just going to do first. Straighten that, we're yeah, straighten everything, and then we're going to grab the bike, we're going to spin it round, clamp the back end up in that wheel there, and then we'll do the same with the front, we'll get the wood under, and then we just whip that whole front out, front end back in, tank on, side panels on. Boom. Okay guys, so we've taken all of the silver off the bike, we've got the top of the forks here as well, so what we're going to do is just wrap it black so this bike is completely blacked out. So, uh... Yo, we're so fucking close, I'm going to stop. Well, you don't have to stop. Give me, and... like, give me like 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes? Fucking all right. All right, we'll finish your bike. And then we'll finish and then we'll eat. And, all right. And drink. All right, cool. <laughs> So 
so the guys just uh, threw the bike back up on the lift, uh, double checking all the little bits and bobs, as they say over there in London, and uh, everything's gonna be tightened up and ready to rock and roll. But this thing, I mean, these guys built this thing, even with Phipps's help, it only took three hours. Unbelievable. What's up? What's going on? Are we all good to go now? Yeah, man, we're all ready to roll, checked over. Runs beautifully, started right up, so. Yeah, thing went together super quick. Phipps was some help. <laughs> it's me. Look at that, Phipps. They, they're only here for the day from London, and they're already making. They've heard my rap over there. Oh yes, yeah, so you've got a you've got a rap of some seat. That's it. So uh, it's nice is... and easy though. Nice and easy to go together. So we did all the hard engineering back in London. We did all the paint, everything on this. So literally get over here, bolt all that off, and bolt this on. So that's it, man. Big pile of parts there. So. I like the turn signals in the uh, handlebars. Mm, mm. They're freaking bright, though. Yeah, they are super bright. And the uh, the Pia lights turned out great. Yeah, they look really cool. So, hey, watch out, millennial. <laughs> so we've watched it. We've wrapped the headlight in the in the yellows with the grill on. Oh, we did, did we? Lights, yeah. So, Let's see if that looks. Yeah, man. Super bright. There you go. It's almost like an eerie green. <laughs> I see this in like some kind of crazy commercial coming around in the warehouse district. Oh, freaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mean looking bit kit. Yeah. yeah. We're happy with it. Super happy. Well, dude, your company is tearing it up. Freaking A. Coming out of nowhere, right? Thornton 100, go, <laughs> go for it, brother. Let's get it off the rack, go for yeah. a ride. Well, it's good and broke in now. Yeah, man. It's the way to do it. Now, there's some good video of you shredding a tire and it got all up your back. I popped one, all the, all the cord come out, and it fucking whipped me up. Oh, mate, I was bleeding. It was fucking wild, man. It's fucking awesome. So, I got my buddy Peter Hickman coming by. And uh, I'm sure he's gonna wanna put his own stamp of approval on it. And uh, that should be fun. Me, I'm just more of a cruiser, man. <laughs> Laid back vibe. Love it. This thing is really wicked. See, if you hadn't had the help of my highly capable fifths, probably would have failed. <laughs> That's it. You guys tore it up, man. It looks freaking great. I mean, I, I was a little spectacle, for, but man. My first 10 feet, you were really getting the heat in the tires. I'll tell you what, uh, you give me two days on this thing, and I'll look stupid. <laughs> so we built a lot of bikes here at Gas Monkey Garage, uh, most notably Fred, uh, which we built back uh, in the beginning days, I think it was like 2012 or 13, uh, to compete in the um, biker build-off against Jesse James in Orange and the, County. And the Tuttles. And the Tuttles. Uh, that was an interesting experience. I really liked Fred. Uh, it was good. You came up with the definition for Fred. Yeah. Fucking ride every day. Yeah. He came up with that. Well, Aaron was having a hard time. You saw the helmet. Mm -hmm. He sat there and wrote the numbers to the letters. And he was trying to come up with something. And he was, he was sitting there talking to one of the, I guess, TV people guys. Ugh. And uh, they were looking at that windshield. And I goes, Fucking ride every day. And I thought, and Aaron goes, can I use that? <laughs> Fucking yeah. yeah. Glad, <laughs> glad Aaron asked permission. And that was yeah. the last uh, complete thought that uh, Phipps has had. 
But uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even complete. <laughs> But, uh, you know, um, this bike was kind of just fun. Uh, yeah. The guys from uh, Thornton 100, I saw their bike out there in, in, in England, and uh, I dug it. I gave them a call. They said, yeah, let's put it all together. We'll send you the stuff. And then they were like, screw it. We want to come out and build it with you, too. So I was like, well, come on, man. I got plenty of cold beer, and I've got an old man that knows how to work our motorcycles. So let's see what happens. And, I had uh, him tools. Oh, you were Remind the Reminded me of my childhood. My <laughs> You're the gopher. Yeah. All right. Well, kick ass. It's done. It looks badass. Uh, I think that uh, it's definitely different. It's something you don't see here in America very often. Uh, and uh, this kind of style of bike I've always kind of wanted. So it's going to go over there and uh, sit next to uh, Greeny, my, uh, my chopper. Yeah. And uh, we'll have fun. Here's the star of the bike. <laughs> exactly. Now, Jody, Jody was really cool enough to come out and have, have some fun yeah. with us. And uh, now we get to have the real fun. Uh, cold beer and... Leave now me don't, at. Don't put, oh, what? Uh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>boy Pete got here and he's gonna put the old uh, Triumph through its paces. Uh, I drove it yesterday, it really drives nice, I like it, but uh, I'm not the uh, trained aficionado that uh, he did. I gotta take some riding lessons. <laughs> Freaking kick ass. And I need a new tire. Thanks for that. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Not a problem. It's a bit better now. <laughs> maybe you get it burned down to a slick and we can pop some wheelies. I think maybe that would help. <laughs> it's not got a lot of rig rip. Kick ass. We got the Thornton 100 test done, built, ready. Gas monkey test, ready. Peter Hickman test, ready. I got me a badass bike. Hey, can, can I ride that now? Go on then. Okay. I'll thank let you. you. Thanks. Um, tired looks a little bare, but I'm good. Thanks to Thornton 100 for coming out. Uh, we, we worked for almost a whole year on getting all the parts ready and everything. Came out, built the bike, it's badass. Peter Hickman approved, get you some of that. It's going in the Gas Monkey Garage, just like me because the beer's over here. <laughs> <laughs>